as the marsh hen secretly builds on the watery side, behold, I will build me a nest on the greatness of God. I will fly in the greatness of God as the marsh hen flies, in the freedom that fills all the space twixt the marsh and the skies. By so many roots as the marsh grass sends in the sod, I will heartily lay me a hold on the greatness of God. Oh, like to the greatness of God is the greatness within the range of the marshes, the liberal marshes of Gwen. And the sea looms large as the marsh. Lo, out of his plenty the sea pours fast. Full soon the time of the flood tide must be. Look how the grace of the sea doth go about and about through the integral channels that flow here and there, everywhere, till his waters have flooded the uttermost creeks and the low-lying lanes, and the marshes meshed with a million veins, that like is with rosy and silvery essence flow in the rose and silver evening glow. Farewell, my Lord Son. The creeks overflow, a thousand rivulets run, twixt the roots of the sod, the blades of the marsh grass stir, passeth a hurrying sound of wings that westward whir, passeth, and all is still, and the current cease to run, and the sea and the marsh are one. How still the plains of the waters be, the tide is in his ecstasy. The tide is at his highest height, and it is night. And now from the best of the Lord will the waters of sleep roll in on the souls of men. But who will reveal to our waking kin the forms that swim and the shapes that creep under the waters of sleep? And I would I could know what swimmeth below when the tide comes in of the length and the breadth of the marvelous marshes of Glen. Sydney Clompton Lanier, 1878 thereabouts.